And next, please welcome John Carey of Modern Home Sales and Midwest Homes of Kansas, our next inductee. John Carey has given an abundance of his time and energy to the manufactured housing industry. He has served on the Legislative Committee and Political Action Committee for, it says here, countless years. Wow, countless. He was instrumental in developing and implementing Kansas legislation, rules, and regulations for the betterment of the industry. John is one of the most respected, accomplished, and honorable individuals in the manufactured housing business. He's also a very devoted family man. And it's safe to say that our industry, our association, and John Friends and his family are all stronger today because of him. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome 2019 RVMH Hall of Fame inductee, John Carey. First off, I would like to thank the RVMH Hall of Fame for hosting this event this evening. It's a, it's a very large and daunting task, and you performed it flawlessly, so thank you for that. I would, I would also like to thank everyone on the nominating committee for nominating me with this, with this honor, uh, and I would like to thank the selection committee of the Hall of Fame for selecting me to be in the class of 2019. Uh, to be mentioned in the same breath as some of those folks hanging on the wall upstairs is indeed an honor and a privilege because there are some, some of the real pioneers in our industry in that group. So thank you. Uh, 51 years ago, I walked into the production office at Gurdon Industries in Manhattan, Kansas to apply for a job, a second job. Uh, working on the production line building mobile homes. I just financed my first car, I was 18 years old, and I thought, well, I could take this second job because I already had a, a, another job. And during the summer, before I start college again, I could pay that car off. Uh, little did I know that that would be turned into my life's vocation. So uh, when I, Started working in production, that eventually turned into an opportunity to go into wholesale sales as a factory sales representative, which in turn turned into an opportunity to get into retail, which I did in liberal Kansas. And that turned into an opportunity to buy my own retail store, which in 1986 in Topeka, Kansas, that's what I did. So. Uh, it's been a kind of a long journey, and over over the years, uh, that's also turned into a second sales center uh, and uh, a park operation uh, in Topeka. So, uh, with any business to be successful, it takes the work and cooperation of a lot of different people. I'd like to thank some of my partners, uh, Scott Paulsen who's back home running the shop, Perry Schremer, who is here uh, this evening, and Jack Benge, who is a partner in the park operation. So I want to thank those guys for their hard work and their expertise. Uh, did, did me a lot of good. So uh, during my time in the manufactured housing industry, there have been a lot of changes. Uh, the homes have gotten bigger. They've gotten better constructed. Uh, our markets changed to make us more compatible with stick-built housing. Uh, and there have been many other changes. The HUD code, we started out as a, a unregulated industry, basically. And due to the HUD code now, it's a very tightly regulated industry. But through all those changes, two things have remained constant. One, it's still a lot of work. Two, it's a very rewarding work. So the, the opportunity to afford families and individuals to buy affordable housing is very satisfying and very rewarding. And think about that every day, that's what we do. So it's, it's a very rewarding industry. Uh, I believe that none of this would have been possible without the love and support of, of my family. Uh, I had a lot of them here this evening. I've got uh, my two sisters. Uh, three nephews, 
my son, my daughter-in-law, my two grandchildren. Uh, you guys stand up, take a bow. You're doing all that, all that cheering. Uh, thank you to all my friends and business associates, both past and present, for taking the time and, and the energy to, to come here today. I know it was, for some of you, it's harder. You know, it's long, long traveling, a lot of work, but I appreciate you being here. Um, I also know that I would not be here, or would not be getting this award without my wife Susan's help. <clears throat> she, she's been my, by my side every step of the way. She does the company books. She gives me timely advice, and she's my best friend. So she's my rock. I wouldn't be able to do it without her. Thank you, Susan. Hey, stand up. And I love you. So, oh, again, I want sincere thanks to the RVMH Hall of Fame for awarding me with this honor. It's very deeply appreciated. Thank you. Congratulations, John. Thank you very much.